Yes. What do we say? Good, Good morning. Evening. <laughs> I never can get it right. Never. Here, I'm going to say good and you say morning, okay? We'll okay. practice. It is evening. Since we do it, yeah. Okay, so you say evening. Ready? Okay. Good evening. Got to have a little more gusto. A little more oomph. A little more chutzpah. I lost my <laughs> and my chutzpah. I'm surprised I any, have any left. I'm I lost I'm exhausted. It. So uh, it, it, it it went away. I don't know where it went. It up with the weather. <laughs> I don't. I wish I knew. This I I go find it. Well, I think you'll find it on Sunday when you move. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll need it then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You need. <laughs> You like it or not, you gotta find it, huh? By Sunday. I mean, it. It's daunting. <sighs> That's the only word that sounds right, and I don't even know what daunting means. I'll have to look it up in the dictionary. It means something hard to do. I think. <laughs> Every single time, how do you use it in a sentence if you don't know what it means? I don't know. I. I mean, I. I think I knew what it meant once. It means like it's, ugh, you know, it, like it, it just means, does, it takes a lot of effort. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it does take a lot of effort. If any of you out there are moving, mm -hmm. you have my... Empathy? Empathy. Empathy, yes, yes. Well, you can have their sympathy too, but... My <laughs> sympathy. <laughs> you can have whatever she has, yeah, whatever you're given, right? Yes. It's hard. It, it is. is hard. So, uh, yeah, every time we sit down, she's like, I don't know what we're going to talk about, I Tracy. Don't. I don't think we're going to make them laugh. <laughs> it's like, I mean, we're not really here to make them laugh. No. And a lot of people say that they just like hearing about, well, especially like when we bring up old times and old shows and stuff old like that. People. Old people. <laughs> yeah. Because... That's kind of the demographic that's watching. Yes, And I so know. they remember. They're not really old. You're not old. <laughs> oh, tell them about the lady who's 119. Oh, I read about her on Facebook. She was 119. She, she is 119. She, She's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> she looked very good, really. Uh-huh. And of course. For 119, what did she look? 100? No, she, 16, maybe. 16? <laughs> no, she didn't look 16. But she looked young. Yeah. I mean, she looked good for the age she was. Mm -hmm. that, that's the way we describe ourselves. Yeah. You know, when you get that, You know, they say that's kind of a backhanded compliment when people say you look good for your age. Yes. Kind of like, well, I don't know. Is there a certain way people are supposed to look? Well, some people, well. <laughs> I don't know, but I think some people, you know, live hard and fast. Right. Well, just like, which, which I, you did. I, I regret you to say. You live slow. I yeah. That's why she looks so good. <laughs> don't do anything. Don't go in the sun, have six kids. Yeah. And uh, remember that there's some kind of a verse and it says, I think it was a card, and I think I know who wrote it. She wrote a column in the <laughs> paper, paper, but I don't know her name anymore. Keep going but back to this. All of this is information <laughs> okay. that, is, that is not information. But she, maybe some of you remember, she said uh, she that, you know, when they are ready to go, they want to look completely worn, worn out, out. Yep. and... And disheveled and tired because they had such a great ride. Yep. yep. <laughs> so there That's you go. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I all, mean, all wrinkly and worn out because you lived a good yes, life. Yeah. Yes. And then the same woman, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure of anything, <laughs> people, when I talk. So, so take don't. everything I say with a grain of salt. That's what they used to say. Yeah. Uh, Still say it. That she wrote that if if she had realized it when she was younger, 
she said now that she's older and uh, she you know close I, actually i think she did have some sort of a a disease mm -hmm. and she knew it mm -hmm. and she was a columnist and she said this is what i would have done i wrote i would have lit that fancy candle i got mm -hmm. that i have in the attic that's that's still fancy and let it burn down or and use I the good china you know we would have the good china what was it for if it just sat in the china right. closet and, or whatever and she said cabinet. i would get down on the grass and play with the kids even though i had my white pants on mm -hmm. i mean all the little things you didn't do because you didn't want to ruin something right you know? I say ruin it. <laughs> That's Do why. it and ruin it. Yep. <laughs> ruin it. Uh, I wanted to talk about too. So the other day, I have been seeing so many people be nice to each other. Be what? Be nice to each other. Oh, oh, yes. And I was at, so every morning I get up and I usually go to Starbucks because I have my coffee and then I have to do a bunch of like computer work. And uh, I went to a different Starbucks than I normally go to. And so I was sitting there and I saw this couple come in and I was sitting by the door and I saw them come in. And did you ever have somebody who just, you can't stop looking at? Yes. yes. Like it's just their energy. And this was them as a couple, him more than her, mm. but as a couple, they were like, I could not, and it, they weren't having like PDA or, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like they were kissing or doing anything like that. But, and he had, his eyes were smiling. Did you ever I see like, somebody yes, who, yes. it just exuded from him. And were they actually talking to each other? Yeah, but every time, mm -hmm. and it was the way he looked at her too. It was like she had his full attention mm -hmm. and he just was smiling, but not in like, just in a really like, I can't even explain it. But from the minute they walked in, I felt that energy. And so they went up to order something and then they sat like facing me because mm -hmm. there were chairs, you know, they have like big chairs, you know, with yeah. a table and stuff. And I was at like a, kind of like a booth and with a table. These tables are only like this big. So I'm sitting there like working, but my computer was up and I kept like looking over there. I just couldn't help myself. And I'm like, well, they're gonna think I'm a creeper, you know? <laughs> and so I tried not to look, but then when I would look and it was just like I said, the way he was like leaning over and like mm -hmm. really listening to her. The body language. Yeah, right? and just, it, it was just exuding. And so, um, and then I caught myself smiling and, uh, and I'm sure they thought I was smiling like at my computer. <laughs> don't look, don't look, they're gonna think you're creepy. And so when they were leaving, they stayed for about 15 minutes and drank their coffee or mm -hmm. whatever. And they may, must have been like, I would say around 40. You know, sometimes you can't tell like, but yeah, around 40, true. both of them. Uh, and it was actually um, a Caucasian lady and an African-American man. I mean, which really has nothing, but I'm sure they get I don't know. Oh, yeah. You, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. But it mean. didn't matter. It was the energy that was coming just from them, and mostly him. Her, too, but, like, I just felt it. And so as they were coming by, they were leaving, and I'm like, Tracy, you got to say something. Do you know what I mean? Like, where you just – and I said, Oh, I hope you, you two have such great energy. And she's like, what? And I said, yeah, I go, I was like drawn into it. I go, it just made me smile. And she said, other people have said that. And she goes, I think I'm going to cry. And uh, he said, well, thank you. You know, like I couldn't even help myself. And I said, well, it was a joy to even see. And um, so I'm sure that that like made their day or. Oh, I can relate to that. Yeah. 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 And I haven't, I mean. I'm sure it's happened before, but I don't remember when. It must be really few know, and far between. That is very rare. I, I know when Frank and I would go out to eat so often, well, all we did was talk. Right. Know, talk, talk, talk. Uh, and he would say sometimes, he'd say, you see those two over there? Mm -hmm. They haven't taken their eyes off of their phone. phone. Yeah. He said they haven't said a word to each other. Mm -hmm. so. And I think that that maybe was it because... 
he was so engaged in what she was saying. Do you mean it wasn't, neither of them had phones. Oh, you know, they out. didn't. No, oh, mm -mm. they didn't have them out. No, okay. and maybe that's it. It's so rare to see that people are actually sitting without their phones yeah. even out and talking to each other. And he was like kind of leaning over, but listening to any you yeah. know what she was saying, like so absorbed in the conversation. And like I said, it, it was just his essence. I said, it, and I said, you you have a great aura about you to him. And he's like, well, thank you. And I I, I wish I would have said, you know, your magic. Because that's how oh, it felt. That's how you felt. Do you know, when when you see something on a person, yes. you think, and you're out, mm -hmm. and you have the opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, compliment them. Yes. Nothing is nicer than getting a compliment you don't expect mm -hmm. from someone you've don't never know. met. Don't yeah. know, Yes, and... And it's a kind thing to do if you really see it, mm -hmm. you know. I couldn't even help myself. Like, I like I better have to tell them <laughs> before they leave. And I, I go, excuse me. And I'm sure they thought, like I said, at first I thought they think they thought I was creeping because I kept looking yeah. at them over my computer. And I said, I wasn't like creeping at you. <laughs> I didn't mean to stare, but I couldn't help myself. I said, it was a joy to watch. Well, that is unusual nowadays. Yeah. It, so it, maybe that's it. Like, it's just people being present because, and today I was at the gas station and um, there was a guy up at the counter yeah. and his card wouldn't go through. And all I saw was he was buying like cheese and crackers, you know, those yeah. little like Lunchables. And I didn't know what was really happening. And then, you know how sometimes you're like, oh, like, I'm so tired. I'm like, okay. But, I, you know, I just kind of sit and look around. And then there was a guy in front of me. And then all of a sudden, the guy in front of me, I see him. I thought he was leaving because he went to open the door. Well, there was a worker coming in, and she had her hands full of stuff. Oh. And, you know, she was on the phone. And he just went and opened the door for her. And then he looked at me, and I smiled at him. And, again, it just is like being aware of seeing those things. Yes. You know, yes. because we see so many bad things that are put in front of us that when you're out, look for the good things. And if you see it, say it. Well, maybe the times we're in and have been in for quite a few years now uh, has made people realize how, how complimenting someone or doing something nice for someone makes makes them feel well good. that's so then when and makes the other person feel good too the guy was um having a problem with his credit card he's like well i can't i don't know why it's going through so then she just kind of put the lunchable aside and then he just stepped over here and he was calling somebody it wasn't a scammer and like he was like what well, i and he was calling yeah. ask her i think they got a new pin number or something because i heard him like talking yeah and then when i got up there because i didn't know if it would go through um I got the Lunchable for him. Oh. And they said, I got it for you. And he's like, oh my gosh. And he's like, you know, I would have done that for somebody else too. And I said, yeah, I know you would have. So. <laughs> well, it's a little, you know, it's the little things. Yeah, it was only $3, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if he was hungry, I didn't want him to go hungry without his Lunchable. No, of course not. Oh. But anyway, so yeah, it was just interesting because I hadn't seen that. And I think that that's what we're missing. I, like I said, I it just made me feel a certain type of way. And that's it. I guess I didn't really realize why. But I think it was because they didn't have phones. And they were literally engaged in conversation with each other and paying full attention. Yes. I mean, when do we ever pay full attention anymore? Well, just like when those people said to you when you were out with the family, the brothers. Yeah. Um, you know, that oh, they she, said about you guys laughing. They came up and, and said we, we had to stop and say that. See, they had to stop. We can't imagine that you're here, family, all, and having such a wonderful time. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure same thing, that they don't see people engaging so much when people yeah. are out at a restaurant. They usually do have their phones. And, you know, I'm guilty of that, too. But, well, yeah, it reminds us to just be present. We're missing out on a lot with these phones and just having yes. all this technology. It's wonderful, but... Well, maybe what goes around comes around. And so maybe the kindness and, and acts of, uh, of, you know, awareness mm -hmm. will... 
And maybe that's oh it. God. I'm just more aware. Like when I'm standing there, I wasn't on my phone. Uh, you know, like at the gas yeah. station. You know, usually you're standing in line yeah. just looking down. But I was just standing there and um, and observing. And it's so um, fun to just sit and like watch people or yes. just, you know, um, yeah, be aware of your surroundings even. Yeah. Because a lot of times people walk into telephone poles and stuff because they're too busy. People have walked <laughs> off mountains it's because true. of that. It's true. It's true. And, well, of course, I read a lot, again, a lot of books about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, awareness mm -hmm. is actually, awareness is, is actually what we are. I mean, that Consciousness. Consciousness, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. Oh, you're welcome. And that's just what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but actually, if you pay attention to yourself, even, you spend more time by root, doing things by root and actually being in yesterday or what's going to happen tomorrow. And now I lost the word. What is it? Because I know you study it where you're like outside yourself, observing yourself. Duality. It's non-duality. Non That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Can you explain non-duality? <laughs> you well, it's not two, not two. Uh, it uh, actually non-duality is not a religion. It. I mean, if when I started reading about the masters, what I mean, way before Christ, and Christ said these things too, but he said so little. If you, you know, and, and, but now I can see in those words, mm -hmm. what, what he meant, what mm -hmm. he meant, mm -hmm. uh, for myself, for myself, mm -hmm. uh, but non-duality means there's just one, right. there's God mm -hmm. and everything and everyone is God is love is, oh, well, yeah. I mean, actually it uses love. Yeah. I mean, God is love. Right. And once I heard that, it resonated with me. The thing is, the word God has so many qualities. God is angry. God is jealous. God will punish you. From from, I'm talking about my experience from right. when I yeah. was growing up. That's what they taught you. You're just a lonely little thing. I mean, you, you, you can't. You're not even worthy to kiss his cloak. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we find our source. We, but we, we've forgotten, I think. We've forgotten. I mean, well, it, just like we forgot we're magic. Yes, yes. Like that's what I think the and magic that is. that is so true. Yeah. It really is. Well, that's like when he said that, really, it was just like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is it. Like I could, I, I was like, really, that's it. We forgot yeah. we're magic. And I think that that's it. We're source. We're love. We are. And that's what we're here to learn. Yeah. And this may, I mean, I'm talking of just for me, Wait. but this is what I read. This, this is what I've learned. And I've been studying it since I was in my 31 about mm -hmm. yeah long time all different books i cannot tell you i have them yet mm -hmm. but anyway i um, the uh we well god is not a human being and neither are we mm -hmm. we have these bodies in order to function in a world of duality Mm -hmm. Where it has needs space and time for a body, you need space to appear, and you need time in which to endure. But didn't they say we're not even so really? We're, the, this we're is not, what gives us life. Is right. what I'm saying is yeah. actually what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll save more for that for next time. Oh, it's we get, it, you got to take little bites. Well, it's deep, but I I really don't think it's controversial because no. it's actually saying the same things. Right. Yeah. That the others are saying right. only in a more understandable, simplistic way. way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, your love—that's who you are. That's what you are. Your magic. And same thing. Yeah. Right. Uh 
So yeah, I'm gonna be quitting my job, huh? For a good reason. Yeah, I told yeah. my patrons, but you know, it's too much to go into, you know, whatever. Yeah, I made a video for my patrons to let them know what was happening, but um, yeah, so back to the drawing board. But, you know, I wanna say too, um, uh, I've been doing a lot of reviews, but it's because I was backed up because when I was just traveling, and I couldn't get anything because I was on the road. Because all these things, um, I really want to try. And when you see me excited, I can't fake being excited. Like somebody said, you know, about the shoes. Because I was excited about the shoes. And you can verify this. I just would not spend money, like a lot of money, on sho good shoes for myself. That's true. Yeah. I just wouldn't. Because being a single mom... And growing, you know, just that, like I would, you know, Jesse's going to school and she has a lot coming up. So I would always be like, oh, I can just get like the cheap ones. Do you know what I mean? Whatever is cheapest. Cause mom's always like, cause Jesse got that from me. Cause you're like, get what you want. You're like, if we go out, she's like, no, get that one. And be like, no, I'll get the $20 one. And you're like, get the one that, you know, because mm -hmm. I just won't. But here's the thing. Just to know that I won't do um, a review on anything that I personally don't feel excited about or want to know about myself. Right, right. And then, uh, you know, like doing the hammock review. Some people said it's hammock. H-A-M-M-I-C-K. It could be. I don't I know. I don't know. <laughs> Boy, this is more like a word, a learning lesson. Well, you know, because every people time people out there are smart. They're so smart. And, well, no, people wrote on the thing. They're like, it's hammock down here, wherever they were from. Um, and I said, but us Minnesota say O oh, for everything. But that's how it was spelled on the Amazon thing. That's what they, they said, hammock. H-A-M-M-O-C-K. Yeah. I don't ever think I've seen it spelled, but I just always... I've said that too. Yeah, I, I think I've said hammock too. We used yeah. to have one when we were <laughs> we at the did. thing, but yeah. I never, I never had, I've never put up a hammock, and I truly never had to put something around a tree. But it was really easy, actually. Yeah. I was excited, and that was fun, like doing videos like that where I have to be creative, and um, like, okay, I need to do the shot here, and I, I think I told you. Because, you know, it was cold yesterday. It was like 40. Oh, it's cold today. I had a t-shirt on. I had a flannel shirt on. I had a, a big pullover on. And I had a vest on. Yeah. <laughs> Still cold. Thank God the sun was out. But um, a lady walked by with her two dogs. And she goes, really? Is it already hammock season? <laughs> I said, <laughs> were no. You lay, were you laying in the hammock when she went by? I was, I was laying it out, you know? Yeah. And, oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. And I'm sure she thought I was weird because I'm like videotaping it. <laughs> And I said, no, it's really not. I said, oh, I'm making a video. Oh. And she goes, do you want help? <laughs> again, Maybe she wanted to lay in it. Again, yeah. just somebody being really kind. You know yeah. what I mean? She's like, do you want help? And I said, oh, I kind of have to do it myself, you know? And so it's funny because once I was done, she came back with another lady. She goes, oh, that looks nice. I see you got that up. <laughs> yeah, it's really comfortable. Oh, my gosh. So, um, but, you know. That's what uh, I like to do. I like to be creative and have to do like, okay, what kind of shot do I want? What kind of, and I have, to, I have to do this all by myself because it's just me. So like unhooking the thing and holding the camera at the same time. I don't know how you time. do it, yeah. Well, and then it's an editing, you know, so yeah. then I have to edit and then I did voiceovers. But for me, that is fun. So it's a win-win situation. I get a hammock and... You know, I get to uh, do videos and be yeah. creative. And so, yeah, hopefully at some point I'll make money off of it. Someday. Someday. Uh, Someday. And I was going to tell you, too, um, so it's funny. So I always say it's funny, but it's not really funny. It's just mm -hmm. <laughs> I say that a lot. That, you know how somebody made a video about how much money I made? Yes, I do. Rem that was just recently. Yeah. Yeah. And isn't that weird like somebody said too nobody would make a video about like what a plumber makes or right. you know like somebody they don't know i wish you did make that much i wish i did too yeah i'd be making videos every day i wouldn't yeah. be looking for <laughs> for jobs that don't pay me anyway so uh that's one of the reasons i'm quitting but um 
uh, what was I say? Oh, that, you know, and it's so personal that somebody that doesn't know, well, somebody that knew you, then you'd be mad, but somebody yeah. that doesn't know you would make, yeah. you know, uh, money's kind of personal, but I don't mind sharing that like this month I'm making $835. So if you think that like you're going to get rich on YouTube, no matter, oh, I, I passed 19,000 today. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so glad. So, uh, so thank you guys for following and just know, um, like oh. the reviews I'm catching up. So if there's somebody said, oh, I see you're doing lots of reviews. It was just one person. Uh, but that's why, because I was on the road for so long and I said yes to these businesses because I really want to, you know, see these products and use them and show them. And, uh, and so I'm just catching up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, golly, your, your followers are so kind. They are I kind. Mean, yeah. And I never want to say, I know I speak about, you know, <laughs> everything and, uh, but I never want to hurt anybody's feelings or say anything that's controversial. Right. I mean, everything can be talked about. Right. You know, uh, different ideas well, and different views. But there's no reason to get mad. We all have different pasts and right. different experiences. Well, and that's what you said. It's interesting, actually. Right. And that's how I feel like having a channel. Sometimes I may say something and I don't mean like somebody had written, they, they thought that I said you were in assisted living home or you were going. And I said, I never said that. And they're like, oh, what to believe? You said that your mom was going. And I said, well, that sounds accusatory. Like, why won't you just say, oh, I thought well, you said your mom was going into an assisted living home. What difference does it make anyway? And, well, and that's it. I mean, that's it, what I mean. Oh, and somebody told me I look cross-eyed <laughs> since uh, I got my <laughs> surgery with Dr. Galati. I'm like... Great, thanks. And if oh I gosh. would be home and like now getting used to this, yeah, I would look in the mirror and see if I was cross-eyed. <laughs> I don't think you are, but I don't, I can't really tell. Well, you <laughs> what can't. do you think, folks? Well, it has nothing to do, it had nothing to do with him doing anything to my no, eye. No, <laughs> It's like a laser that went in. Maybe it gave me cross-eyed. He I don't probably know. said... Look over here. Right. At the same time. Oh, that was another yeah. thing because I did a makeup video and um, I brought this up because that person said that to me. And then um, this girl I follow, uh, uh, La Vagabond. Oh, I forgot the first part of it, but Living La Vagabond. And they, they sail. They live on a catamaran and they have two young kids. They've been sailing for like eight years since they oh were like gosh. 20 something. Oh and Elena's the the they're not married but they're only under 30 they're mm. but when um she got pregnant because she has two kids she got melasma which is they call it the pregnancy mask you know where you get dark patches oh i i don't ever seen it yeah like. and so people she like came on and made a video about it last week and she's like what i've been hiding and she said yeah People have been commenting saying, what's happened to Elena? Oh my gosh, what's wrong with her face? Oh, doesn't she wear sunscreen? Doesn't she know? And I said, you know what, people like, so she felt like she had to talk about it because people were like yeah. saying me, they are like, oh, she used to be so beautiful. Mm. And, you know, when you put yourself out there, mm. I mean, and I don't know, you know, people say, oh, just dismiss it. <laughs> you know, I mean, do you ever get used to somebody... Like now I laugh and just delete it, but really, you look like you're cross-eyed. I mean, and here's the thing, who would even say something like that? And I said, we have mirrors, people have mirrors. Mm -hmm. Like if you gain weight, it's not like you're telling somebody something yeah, they it's don't, not like know. You don't know. And, yeah. and just imagine something that you're already insecure about and then being like on YouTube and they have like millions of followers. So I can't even yeah. imagine yeah. that you know, all these people, when you're insecure about something, they're saying, oh my God, what happened to your face? Oh my God, you look so old, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so just be kind. Like yeah. people know you don't have to point things out. Yeah. You know? So again, it's just about kindness. And and the thing is, nobody has an easy life. Nobody. I don't think one person nope. on earth has an easy life. No. Nope. But it, 
you know, I mean, you have good times, bad times, and in between times. So we, that's why we should be kind, I think. Yeah. You know. Even now being home. You never know what someone's going through. I'm more stressed out than I've been in a long time. I know, time. I can tell. And I mean, every day, I'm like, you would think, oh, you know, my job, but every day I'm working really hard. I yeah. actually don't have enough time to do some things. And after this tonight, um, so I just got home and then I took a shower and uh, we're doing this. And then I have a call with, because for my patrons, mm -hmm. um, I offer that um, they get a Zoom call or a FaceTime or a phone oh. call. So I'm talking to one of my patrons tonight at 8. Oh. So oh. when we're done here, yeah, I'm going to talk to her. So, um, but yeah, you know, even whatever you see on YouTube, if it looks easy, just nobody, you just never know what people are going through, do no. you? No, no. And, and, and every single person. Every single person. I mean, person. not all the time. No, uh, right. Or, and maybe all the time. We don't know their Yeah, we know, don't know their story. Is. Right. So, yeah, I it, it's always good. And, and the compliments, when people give you, a, say something really nice on the spur of the moment. You know? Well, and just like I told you, um, like, even for me, when that guy wrote today, I yeah. mentioned it to you, like, he's like, Tracy, you mentioned this is what you want to do. Well, you're doing a great job at it. Oh, and then the businesses that I have done, um, you know, reviews for it, they've written me back and are like, wow, one of them's like, wow, I shared it with my whole team. You know, <laughs> we're so impressed. We'd love to work together again. And same with the other one. And, um, you know, cause I take the time, but for me, that's fun for me. Yeah. It's creative and yeah. I lose myself in that. Um, but just even getting a comment like that, yeah. like Tracy, you're good at it. And I know this is what you want to do. You should do it. And I was like, wow, that's really nice to know somebody like supports that in me. Always. Always. And somebody I don't even like really know. Yeah. But yeah. So when you guys, um. Leave, not that you have to leave. I'm not fishing, believe me. <laughs> no, she's not. no, but just don't say I'm cross-eyed or something like that. You don't have to leave a kind comment, but don't leave a comment that I'm cross-eyed. Or do. Whatever. <laughs> At this point. I got my mom to back me up now. Oh, of course. Yep. Of course. Now that I'm home. Of course. Yes. It's good to have you home. Yeah. And it's then... Good. Oh, and this is the last time we'll be here yeah the cat we've got to make it so that the cat clock's in between us at the next place you know somebody somebody suggested that i put all my cat clocks so <laughs> behind yeah. me I, the I, family well maybe they didn't mean behind me but they said put them all together the cat clock family the cat clock the ca <laughs> i can't say it you can't say I that think <laughs> you, i think you said something that you, you may have to beep out folks you can't say that real fast I don't think. The cat, you said a dirty <laughs> word. <laughs> That's, she sells seashells by the seashore. That's not what you said. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm changing the subject. Oh, you... <laughs> so delicately. Yeah, I just, yeah. See, it wasn't obvious. Was yeah, it? no, it wasn't obvious. Yeah. But yeah, maybe at the next, yeah. So this is the last time we'll be uh, here. Only a couple yes. more days. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, tomorrow, I go and pay my rent because she doesn't work on Saturday and Sunday, and I move in on Sunday. Uh, somebody said suggest. So, somebody suggested that uh, maybe we make different types of drinks. We call it like a happy hour. You know how we were saying it's a happy should. hour, and yeah. that every week uh, we should have a different drink. I'm for that. <laughs> Who has to get it? I'm old enough yeah. to drink. Just like grandma, remember she used to have like one beer. She'd ask for oh, one her beer mom. Did it. Well, your mom. That My she, mom. When she was older, she's like, "Oh, can you get me a six pack?" And then she'd have one every night. And then pretty soon, every three days, it was like, <laughs> "Could you get me a six pack?" She loved beer. I like beer. <laughs> I like, I like beer. beer. Mm -hmm. But to, I can drink two beers and no, not be, and not be under the table. Well, not under the yeah. table, but you're like well, the one time you because yeah. she usually only has one. And the one, one time, is good. One, one is time good. you had two, you're like, oh, I think I yes. drank too much. 
Yeah. Uh, cheap date. Uh, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> well, once we were, you know, what, you know, years ago, does anyone remember Slow Gin? Oh, my God. It tasted just like, to me, it tasted just like cherry pop. Uh-huh. And Dad and remember I Remember Kim <laughs> threw up in the wicker basket and told us she got sick and it was all red because she was trying. Slow gin. I don't remember that. I wonder why. I know. Okay, yeah, you and Dad. Sorry. And, well, we were at a wedding because that, that's the only time we drank. Right. And, and Dad, you know, he he loved to dance. Yeah, it was the only time he drank, like both of you. He never drank otherwise. And after two drinks, he would dance the whole night. Mm -hmm. And finally, I would get so tired. And then he would dance with... Anyone. He'd just go grab a lady. Of course, we were at a wedding, so he knew them. It's so funny know. that he loved to dance because he was so, like, reserved. Reserved. But not when he had a drink. Yeah. And then he uh, and then he sweated. Like, and then, oh. Oh. He would drink coffee, and he loved his coffee, like, scalding, scalding hot. And he would be eating <laughs> at the table, and he'd always have the sweat ball hanging off his nose. And we're like, Dad, wipe <laughs> off that thing. And he's like... Mm. <laughs> and then it would just fall off. He you was know, like, well, Roseanne, Roseanne, and I were like, we'd all be sitting there waiting to see when is the sweat ball going to yeah. fall off. He, he was, he was funny. He was funny. Yeah. yeah. But it's he funny how funny. he changed. He came out of his shell. Well, at, we had a surprise Had 50th a wedding anniversary for you guys and a limo came. And, you know, he's kind of like, oh, you know, at first. Yeah. But then oh, when, because... Yeah. People flew in for it. Um, yeah. Pam had flown in, remember? Yes, I remember that. And then your friends. And then um, Dad drank like 50 grasshoppers that night. And uh, he had so much fun. He made a speech, do you remember? I don't At the know. end, he got up. Oh, you know. Well, they asked him to say a few words. Yeah. And he said a few words. Yeah. Uh, quite a few words. And that's not like Dad. Dad would never. No. He would, if he wasn't drinking, he would be like, no, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Well, and now Frank's retiring, so we have a party to go to in a couple of weeks. Frank is retiring at 84, guys. 84. He's 84. And the only reason he's retiring... He's a little young to retire. <clears throat> ...is he, he did get COVID. Yeah. And it left him with serious heart problems. Yeah. And they're kind of taking care of those. I mean, he's taking certain medicines now yeah. and they did a couple procedures yep. and he's feeling better. Yep. So. And Carrington's but, back. And Carrington is. At his house. And he's, uh, he's being watched by like Tavita with who, right. that's his niece, his niece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And his, he has a really good friend. Yeah. And uh, and he checks on him every yeah. day. So anyway, so everybody they're both doing fine. Yep. Yeah. Do you know yeah. it's been almost 40 minutes? Doesn't the time go by? Like, like you say, right before she's always like, what are we going to talk about? I don't think. <laughs> and there's always something to talk about. But, um, well, okay. Well, now, next this time. This week, it'll be so busy. And yeah. next week, we'll be at my apartment. Yep. Yeah. But again, it will look like this apartment. It'll be full of boxes. You'll have to set up one little area so that it looks good behind so that we can just have our little studio yes. here. Yes, yes, with my cat closet. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it looks like nobody knows that there will be boxes around us. It'll just no, be No, they like, don't know. Yeah. They can't see them. No. When I modeled, uh, yeah, I modeled for Shop NBC for years, and I was the Spot A Go girl. It was a blow-up hot tub, and it looked like we were in this backyard. Yes. It was all beautiful. And we were literally in the middle of the parking lot. Like it just, cause the camera only showed you this much. Yeah. But if it had panned out, it's just us in the middle of the parking lot. And people would be driving by. <laughs> so no, anyway. Well, that's show business. <laughs> that's show business. You never know what's going on. Say around. goodnight, Gracie. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Gracie. <laughs> okay. So what do we say? Go out. Have an adventure. Make an adventure. Make an adventure. Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van. Why? No, she did. <laughs> I already did that. If you want to, you can. But just get out and do anything. Someone, um, a woman, B, told me that she was uh, going to take her oxygen uh and make it go longer so she could go out into the yard. Oh. 
So that's an adventure. I wow. think so. And Quite an adventure. Yep. Yeah. Go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. Go get blood. Go donate blood. And as much as you want. <laughs> Cause it's only me who can't give it all because she's worried about me but you know <laughs> well they oh, say people, it's okay yeah well i want to make this lower maybe we could talk about this next time people have asked that you adopt them as their mom because their moms have passed or maybe they didn't have a very I, kind I, mom we I adopt will. everybody i would I okay would. you can call her mom too okay yes or i would love it or I they want you it. as a girlfriend so they want you as their mom or their girlfriend i'd be both Okay, so if you don't have a girlfriend and you want her as a girlfriend, you can just save. My girlfriend's on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I thought you said that meant the girls want a girlfriend. Oh, well, oh. maybe that too. I wouldn't make a very good girlfriend. Not not that kind of a girlfriend. Okay, I, say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> okay, don't forget your magic. We'll see you in the next one okay. at Joy's New Place. Okay, bye. <laughs> say bye. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Mm.